Max, Zach, and you're listening to the Talk It Off Podcast. Woo! Did you miss podcast? I fucking. It's the tenth episode. It's Zach. the tenth episode. I'm so excited. Talk It Off Podcast. Nah, I missed the podcast. It, it was perfect. Wait, did I? So I fucked up the intro. You want to? No, do no, no. Whole... I loved it because you hit something on the. No, I didn't. Max did. I oh, did. Was yours? No, that was you. It added a new effect. We'll watch the playback. Should we start over? No, I like it. Okay. <laughs> So it's episode 10. It's episode episode 10. 10. Double digits, officially. I'm very, very excited that we got here. And we tried something new this time. We decided, officially, no headphones. Yeah. It felt too dialed in. Yeah, it did. It felt too official. This makes it feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah. I know, I like it already. It's a new era. It's, yeah. We're going for, for a, more, a more raw, you know. A, That's a, a, our move. The, the shoot era with no headphones. You we're know? rebranding. Oh, what did you guys do? Did you change your color scheme, your, your, your name? No, we decided to take out headphones. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, how are people even gonna know? New era, baby. Let's go. I can't wait for like like twenty episodes from now for people to be like, I used to listen to them when they wore headphones. Yeah. So honestly, it'll be a staple. Yeah. But you know, speaking of new eras, yeah. today's actually a monumental day. It is. We're recording this on Friday, which is not usual for us. July Friday, 9th. July ninth. This was the last day being in a studio to finish writing. Yeah. For the next record. Woo! Why? It's it's. Can we get a golf clap on there? Do we know? Please clap at home. Do we know the date of the first demo? No, but I need to look it up. If oh. you want me to do it and you guys talk, I can look it up. But yeah, sure. It was I, like a year and a half, I think. Okay, I thought you were about to ask. Do you know the date of the first like single that's coming out? And I was like, uh, oh, really? Get ahead of yourself, big guy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna give you a. Uh, we're gonna listen to it right now in full. So the first <laughs> single is. Released on the Talk It Off podcast. It's like insane. has I'm the scrolling. smallest amount of reach. <laughs> We're releasing our brand new single right now. That'd wow. Be very funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. This is something that obviously with everything going on, um, COVID, the tours being rescheduled, um, felt like a lot of things were at a standstill. And like being able to watch this record kind of take shape yeah. over, and, and obviously it, take, it took a lot longer this time because mm-hmm. we were at home. So we had the time to do it has been crazy so to see it finally done feels yeah. like we're at the end of the tunnel and uh we took a shot of jack daniels right before the podcast we did. to celebrate we did. i think we should do one on the podcast i could go get one yeah at any point you at should any go point. do it you should go before do it. i do i want to Let's look up the, the the date to see if it, so it's not showing up on the on the mobile site but i had to scroll for so long which right. is cool because we've been writing for so long yeah because we want to give you the best record we can and it's it's a nerve-wracking situation because now we're in the hardest part yeah. The fun part is the writing. It's, it's the best part about it. Putting it all together, seeing what we can do. And then now we have to say goodbye to some songs mm-hmm. that we all love individually. And we're going to disagree on some things. Yeah. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be a little, like, tense. Yeah. I do, I do love that. It's going to be a good album. That, album. <laughs> I love that feeling of, like, whenever we, we have to go in for the conversation, obviously, uh, art is subjective and everyone's going to have their own opinions. Uh, but I, I always go into it being like, I'm going to be open-minded. I'm going to hear everyone out. And then the second someone, I, I love a song and someone's like, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. You're doing this to me personally. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Cause you get so attached to it. It becomes yeah. like, it's like someone you're getting to know. Yeah. Like you're, you're just there with it and you're like, Oh, I like it cause of this. And then the more you listen to it, the more you get into that way of thinking. Yeah. It's, and then it also depends who you're showing it to, mm-hmm. what close friends you're showing it to. And if they also resonate with it, it makes you resonate with that song even harder. Yeah. It's it's a it's a crazy thing, and then having to come back and be like, okay. I honestly didn't show the songs to very many people for really? that reason because I didn't want to be I didn't want to be influenced too much by outside by, by outside opinions. I wanted to form my own thoughts on it. Oh, I, I I always try to do that first without anyone's insight, and then yeah. I like to show it to various groups of people, in the sense of like someone that is a musician, yeah, someone yeah. that writes, someone that produces, um, someone that just likes music in general and yeah. then kind of understand what songs are they gravitating to and it's kind of like a venn diagram is there one they all meet on yeah and like whether they know music or not you and know what the real challenge would be is if you showed it to somebody who fucking hated music <laughs> <laughs> and then they were show like, me that person <laughs> <laughs> show me that farm by I, the way i show me that farm <laughs> i forgot about that quote yeah shout out the office um i found the date oh okay this, it's kind of it's almost upsetting it was so the first song, which I can't say the title, was written. Sure, you can. On well, we don't know if it's gonna make it. or Well, that's fine. Then it'll be lore. They'll be like, oh, it's you remember? Called, I'll mouth it. It's called. Um, 
<laughs> Did you see what I said? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they're not going to. We talked about this we on the podcast. They didn't watch it on YouTube. We talked about this on the podcast a long time ago about how when you have to go on vocal rest, I'm terrible at reading your lips. So you and didn't I've never get that one. better. And I have no fucking idea what yeah. you said. Let's do it one more time. Chuck E. Oh, Cheese. Yeah. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese. It was Chuck E. Cheese, yeah. the Chuck first e. single. Yeah. Um, that was November 7th. 2019 oh my wow. god 2019 is when this began that's crazy 2019 you know what it was is that like the pandemic I, we keep talking about it but yeah. just to be real about it like it we knew we could take our time and if we could why not put out the best thing we can yeah yeah so also we didn't want to put out a record and then just be at home and sit there yeah yeah not tour on it so things are kind of coming to a head now and it's really exciting yeah so here we here we are. I'm stoked. It's it's a, it's a big day. Yeah, a lot of things have happened over that span of oh time. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. We started streaming. We're we have this podcast now. Yeah. Um, it's just it's really exciting overall. Yeah. And now we're gonna get to do what we truly love. Yeah. Which is play fucking shows again. Yeah. If that's like silver lining to all of this was I already knew that I loved touring and playing music, but having to go without it for so long, mm. I am going to cherish every single yeah. show. I cannot agree with you heavier. Dude, one time Max is like frowning. I'm like, remember. Remember when you said? <laughs> you remember. said it. You have you like take that snippet and yeah. you just like play it to him right yeah. there. You have it recorded, yeah. Yeah, you're like <laughs> throughout the tour, you're like, I kind of fucking hate Zach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god. Wow. Should I should I make the shot? Oh yeah, let's I'm do a shot on the I, podcast. I, I, I have to drive. You, uh, okay, fair. So I don't have to drive, I'm walking home. So, me and you? Well, there you yeah, go. You guys are... You could mine one with I us. I could mine one. Water I'll mine shot. one. A water, water shot. shot. Yeah, water shot. Yo, don't... While, uh, while this is getting set up, we were talking about shows. Um, Zach, you had a, a, an experience trying to get in, get tickets for a show. Oh, uh, my God, dude. I had an insane experience. Uh, I want to see the legendary rock and roll band Kiss. Love them. Love them. I don't. I don't know, man. They've always been a. I've always loved them since I was like a little kid. I used to get their guitars and shit, and uh, like collect all of their stuff. Like I, I was obsessed with them. I mean, I fell out of it, but so if you're not watching at home, he's actually got the face paint on right now. <laughs> <laughs> always, I always have it on full, like the like the yeah. blade. No, like I actually wear like foundation because I got it tattooed on my face, so I wear foundation <laughs> <laughs> over it. Every single day, um, uh, but I, um, I so I want to see Kiss because it's the end of the road tour. It's their last one, uh, and every time I bring this up, someone's like, "They already did their last one." I'm like, "Okay, I, I don't care about that though." Yeah. But this is actually the last one. So I found tickets that I really wanted. They were in really good spots. They were kind of expensive. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. That's so kind of you. They were kind of expensive. Are we gonna get demonetized oh, for drinking alcohol on the podcast? Uh, no, this isn't alcohol. Oh, that's right. Why did I have to say yeah, that? Yeah, no, this is water shots. Water shots. Oh, you didn't get me my Diet Coke that I specifically asked for. <laughs> wow. Uh, Be right back, everybody. <laughs> this is Gotta getting... Uh, the diva Zach <laughs> over here. I feel like uh, this restaurant's going to get like a, like a three stars on Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so uh, I've, I got the ticket. It was really expensive. I paid for it. Whatever. Um, I was, but I was really excited because it's the last time I'm going to be able to see it. And you know, I want to see the greatness of one more time. Sure. So, uh, I, I purchased the ticket and then two weeks later, they're like, your ticket's confirmed. And I look where it is and it's nowhere near where I bought the ticket. I bought it in the center of the venue mm -hmm. because for those who don't know, that's like where the best sound will be because oh, yeah, yeah. that's where the, the person who's mixing the show sits so they're trying to make it sound the best for that exact mm -hmm. spot so that's why i wanted that spot so they put me off all the way to the right and to the left and it was insane how bad it was and it was the, the company seat geek they're the yeah. ones i went through to buy the ticket and they royally effed me over I really I, I don't know why i didn't say fuck but it just it didn't feel good you said it now <laughs> <laughs> effed i mean fucked yeah uh, but yeah they they super duper fucked me over so i um I like went over like emails with them back and forth so many times about trying to figure this out. And to the point where I got to a point where they basically said, all right, like we're, you're going to have to deal with this. It was not our fault. It was the venue's fault. Here's, yeah. the, here's the ticket. You're going to have to deal with that. So I knew that that's where I was in the email chain. So I stopped emailing them as me talking to a customer service agent because like, 
I started just talking to them as like if I was talking to Seat Geek, the company, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Seat Geek. Yeah, Mr. Seat Geek. Excuse me, Mr. Yeah. Seat Geek. And in the email, I was like, I'm very sorry, uh, the agent's name that I was dealing with. I don't want to be rude to you. I know that you're, and I said this in the email, and I was like, I, I, I know that uh, you have to stand up for this company, but you know, you, you, we both know that I'm in the right here, but you have to defend the company that you don't give a shit about. So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> did you say it like that? I did. Yeah. I love and I'm like, that. I'm very sorry. And then I was like, now to seat geek, <laughs> I, was like, I did this whole thing. I was like, I played out a whole character, dude. And it was like one of those moments. I imagine where, you submitted a video. No, <laughs> it was a really long email. Now to seat geek. It was one of those moments where like, I was having fun with it. Cause I was like, yeah. oh, at this point, like I have to make it funny yeah. because I'm really upset. So oh, absolutely. I, have to, I have to make a joke out of it. Mm-hmm. But then I started reading the emails to my girlfriend and I could tell that she was like you're insane <laughs> go touch grass <laughs> go touch grass yeah so it's pretty wild uh, wow. but now well, what was the end result anything uh, no so basically the last email that I got was them basically being like uh, deal with it and uh, Tee-hee, yeah no, but, so I did that in the email and I was like ha ha we fucked this guy over look and I was like another faceless corporation wins again uh, yeah. ah. I did I like, like Kiss comes on stage and Gene Simmons is like look how bad that guy's spot is <laughs> that sucks dude I'll bet yeah. you wanted the spot over there uh-huh. huh yeah I got super <laughs> fucked over but at the same time it's like whatever at least i made it funny yeah for me yeah you made it fun. i started fucking with the you know the seat geek because i wanted them to read it and be like oh man we're mm-hmm. stupid because they are they're also like a soulless company they just sell like they just do resale <laughs> tickets they're fucking bottom feeder pieces of shit so seat geek if you're looking to sponsor us yeah um we're we're open <laughs> yeah we're i totally will open. I, <laughs> uh, yeah. so seat geek is literally the easiest way to buy tickets <laughs> right into a sponsorship. It really just said that we have to talk about that. Oh like that's all God. the. Oh man, they, they probably get so specific about like what you have to talk about for that oh, sort of ad. Yeah. Wow. Man. Uh, we doing that shot? Oh Let's do yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. celebrate. Oh, You're wow. celebrating with us at home. So. Oh yeah. Thank you guys for being a part of our lives. And um, here's to the next step in that life. Cheers. Woo! Cheers. Cheers. I can't believe we're doing. Bigger it. than kiss. <laughs> I'm so glad I wasn't taking the shot when you said that. <laughs> All right, bigger than kids. Bigger than kids. <laughs> Gene Simmons is gonna be really upset. If I know, yeah. I know. I thought it, there's like a common phrase, like that's the that's like the bar that was said is like, oh, this band's huge. They're bigger than Kiss. Yeah. yeah. I for some reason lately I've been imagining that they're saying that they're bigger than like the concept of kissing. Like, <laughs> they're more popular than like. I'd say that's arguably way more popular than the band. Kiss. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could see it. Yeah. Um. So what's been new with you guys, huh? God, man, I, I mean, this today is the biggest thing. Like, cause now I have to fill my days. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it'll be totally real. Yeah. I had something I was like, I can go do this. Yeah. That's great. Now I'm going to be like, go to Tsushima. I'm yeah. going to go play that I, game. I think you should. So you've been writing since November of 2019. Yeah. Almost every day. Yeah, you deserve right? felt like a lot. I feel like you should go somewhere <laughs> very far away <laughs> for a while. Yeah. Yeah, and don't, don't like. Lie. How are you not burn out? Are you well, not no, burn out? I, no, I I found my pace. I really did. And what I I noticed is like you know as soon as I can't say details, once things start kicking up, we're not going to have a lot of free time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I've been taking advantage of any moment I can get. You know what? Something that happened was um, we brought in. Uh, we, we we called some people and we got Shay's mom and and her nephew to come in. Yeah. No, it's we brought them in. I was trying to make a joke and it was terrible. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I started zoning out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like looking at the buildings over there. Being like, wow. Yeah, those are kind of tall. I wonder how many uh, people live there. No, but this was actually really nice. Like getting some family time in. Yeah. And um, and her nephew's never been to Disney. And it was his birthday like the week before he got here. So we threw him like another birthday. And um, got to go see Avengers Campus and did that with him. And, and so that was like my escape. And it was so nice because I wasn't thinking about music or anything. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like I've I've been better at striking that that mental health balance of of just like taking care of myself so I'm not overworking and burning out because you can burn out heavily on writing. Oh yeah, especially if you are doing it every day, which I I when we started I I almost was, mm-hmm. but then like I'm like okay I am I need a break. I'm yeah. not going to be useful at all. I feel if, like any creative, like the irony of it is when you're young, you're like I don't want to work a nine to five. Yeah. Instead, I'm going to work twenty four hours a yeah. day. For this creative and thing. And then you're like, yeah. I'm going to do that. And then after yeah. a while, you're like, why can't I write? And you're like, because you're exhausted. Yeah. Go to yeah. bed. <laughs> and I um, I don't know. I'm I'm really happy. I, 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 I don't think at one point, maybe once, mm-hmm. maybe once or twice, I was like, 
man, I, I need to get away. Yeah. And I would, but when I felt that way, I would tell whatever producer I was supposed to work with, I was like, hey, man, I'm just not with it. And I feel like having that, that comfort and being able to say that and exert that really helped. Yeah. So I feel fine, man. Wow. Yeah. I feel really good. I feel like I ran a marathon at a really slow pace. Yeah. I, it just, I'm, I'm good. Let's make the next record. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, I'm ready. Let's yeah. go. Let's do, double, <laughs> let's do a double album. Oh my God. I was just talking about this. Uh, so when I, I, I don't remember what year it was, but I was really excited for this Red Hot Chili Peppers <laughs> album that was coming out. I know. It's shocking. I, I liked the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> I was excited for their No, their no, I just, I got uh, they some released this. <laughs> Continue. California. No, no, no. I was really excited. And, uh, but they released something called, it was an album called Stadium Arcadium, and it was two CDs yeah, I full of that. like probably 30 songs. Yeah. And I didn't listen to any of them because I was so stressed out by how many yeah. songs there were. So I love the idea of like, you have to strike that balance between uh, if you release nine songs, and people have waited two years. Then yeah. You're like, why did it take yeah. so long? Yeah. But if you release forty of them, they get lost in the mix. Oh, dude, so it's trying to fight. I think that another balance. artist did. Didn't like Kanye do that? Think, Bruno Mars did. I, I think, remember he released a ten album. No, no, I mean like a, a crazy song long one. Oh, like I think Kanye did like a crazy amount one time, hmm. and I did not listen to every song. Yeah. No, me either. It's just you too just much. Can't. You, at a certain point, and, and like it can be the best artist in the world. I'll be like, some of these are bound to be bad. Yeah. Like. And I think that's the hardest part is like you're, you're listening, like the, the reason why I want to write so many songs is because I've heard albums that are even my favorite albums of all time and there'll be a song I'm like, that's a filler. Yeah. That doesn't, I want an album of just singles yeah. or not like you're marketing towards a Or they've got a anything. purpose. Each yeah, exactly. A purpose, exactly. Yeah. So hopefully that a song that someone can listen to and never want to skip one of them. Yeah. Which um, I think you, we, 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 uh, uh, we don't I, say much. Oh, yeah. I, I do think we accomplished mm-hmm. it. I yeah. really do. But uh, that'll be to the listener's perspective yeah. to decide and that's the scariest part about it is you never know if you're right yeah. so be yeah. nice about it <laughs> i think there's a there's a lost art to um like having an album that's meant to be listened to front to back yeah like as one cohesive thing i know that it doesn't work that way anymore and it's it's good to have songs that can stand on their own yeah but i loved being able to listen to an album front to back and have it make sense Yes. Like, take I, me on a story. I feel a like what's lost recently is, remember, like, some of our favorite albums have really great transitions mm-hmm. from a song to a song. Like, it'll swell into something and boom, it's the next song. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like that happens as much yeah. anymore. Yeah. There was, there was a couple times we tried to, because whenever we're, you know, figuring out track listing, we want it to make sense. We, we yeah. do it with that purpose. And I remember for Cinematics, there was this, uh, you had this recording of you playing Sleep When I'm Dead on piano. And it was like just on a phone. Oh it was like God. really grainy and it ended up sounding really cool. And uh, the, the, the we found out there's this way to uh, make a negative one track. So if you buy the CD and then you skip backwards, it will play a song, a, a for- hidden song. Yeah. But we, but whoever made the albums completely fucked up. Oh, and then that's what happened. It was track one. And then the track listing was incorrect the whole thing oh my god i forgot yeah. track about 12 that. is 13 etc so it's 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 easy to have the idea hard to make it come to fruition yes it yeah. truly is yeah i don't know if it ever got fixed uh oh, honestly but... i don't remember that i honestly totally forgot that i even did that we were mm. very very upset at the time yeah yeah i'll bet yeah. i remember just being like you uh, have your vision you want to go perfectly and sometimes mm-hmm. it doesn't and then you are like okay well what do we do next yeah <laughs> Enough about music, though, right? Okay, Come yeah. on, dude. Well, let's get Jesus, the, the jokey. <laughs> no, uh, I am. Uh, I am excited though. I just wanna. I just wanna release music. You yeah, know? I know. I just wanna feel like we're moving again. You know. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to like start planning the music videos and which mm-hmm. singles are gonna go where and doing photo shoots. Oh my god, I can't wait. Yes. Yeah. There's so many, cause because right now, you know, I, uh, as of right now, the only tour we have scheduled is for 2022. Yeah. So like. Six months or more, I don't know exactly how long it's going to be. And I keep thinking, like, oh, my God, that's so long. Mm-hmm. But knowing that everything, like, preparation for this record is coming, yeah. and that time is going to be filled with that. Is yeah, like, it's just going to... Because right like, now we're just, just talking glorious, about... Just glorious, glorious purpose, yeah. you know? Okay, glorious purpose! <laughs> glorious purpose. Uh, so. we're, we're only, right now, we're only talking about the music side of things, but there's so much more already being discussed behind the I scenes. I know, I'm so excited. Yeah. I know. Uh, we can't we could talk about more! Yeah, we can. I can't. Wish yeah. we could talk about this more. Is, this, yeah, this is the... The I don't know why and who decided and I get it because you know you want to make sure you don't want to release anything or spoil anything until it's perfect you don't want to yeah. show someone a rough draft but 
like the whole like like releasing music releasing albums is is shrouded in so much mystery yeah i love like we and we do it we, we do the same oh, thing yeah. where we'll like have this cryptic thing but it's like of course we're putting out music what did you yeah. think we were gonna yeah. you know no this is what we do now but it adds like yeah. it, it like it really creates does. that world or <laughs> yeah. whatever but it's every just so time, funny though. that we're like tomorrow and they're like what is it I'm like what do you think yeah <laughs> what do you think it's going to be it's either gonna be new music or a new music video or yeah. you know maybe did we already merch? talk about the time that I won't name the band, but they they hyped. I think Pete did this too. Did such a big promotion and hype thing, but it was just a MySpace layout. Oh, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah I thought so. I thought so. That. Yeah, we've uh, hyping things up is important. It's yeah. just so funny how like everybody can. You know, I don't know. It's so it's like everybody's playing the game. They're all like, we know and we know. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then like you want to get the comments that are like, what's happening? Mm-hmm. I'm freaking yeah. out. Yeah, it is my favorite part. Being able to like like post it. And then just watch it all happen. Mm-hmm. And I think it's it's like just letting people know, like, hey, this is coming out at this time, so that they're prepared for it. Yeah, yeah. it is cool. Like for um for a lot of the stuff for After Midnight, we just this was I think it was the first time we ever tried to do this. We just dropped songs. We didn't promote that there was music coming out. We yeah. were just like, hey, here's a single, enjoy it. Yeah, um, yeah. which was and fun. they smashed. Yeah, yeah, they went really well. But I like the cryptic. Oh, it was so much fun. Like, stuff. and also yeah. seeing people like a lot of people didn't know we we've never talked about this on here. Is is the some people figured it out and some people were totally confused by the extra finger on each hand on the cover of yeah. Midnight. Yeah. And that that was actually totally intentional because mm-hmm. six fingers, six fingers makes 12, 12 Midnight. Yeah. And like we had so much fun with that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And then to like, that was our first time kind of, like we, we've done stuff before like that. Yeah. Sometimes it was unintentional. People would read into things that weren't even there. And you see that in like uh, comments for music videos. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like, well, now that we've done it, I think it's it. fucking dope because it yeah. adds like a whole another thing that people can get into about yeah. it and yeah. try and figure out. And like that was a big thing with Midnight is like there was a lot of surrealism with yeah. that mm-hmm. stuff. And there there's still some stuff that people haven't figured out too. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. we should never say. Yeah, there's no, a lot of like, it's up to them. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff you did um, for the live shows and for like teasers in the past. For example, like the sound of sand falling in the background. Yeah. That like. If if you didn't know what it was, you'd be like, "What is that?" But once you realize that it's sand, you're like, "Oh, from the hourglass." Dude, the fact that hourglass mm. before was an entirely different chorus, and then we realized we wanted it to be called midnight, and that we wanted an hourglass, and then I went back and we we rewrote the lyrics mm-hmm. to that part, and then we reintroduced those sounds because yeah. we're like, "Okay, well, let's just make it all themed." Yeah. I forgot about it. it had a whole. Yeah. It was the same melody, just different. It was like it was about. I think the title was linoleum. Yeah, it was. Like, it was. I thought I was Napoleon because I never, never lost. I always won. And then we like got a uh, plastic guns and plastic guns and we'll never get someone. Us uh, war on the linoleum, linoleum, and that was just like it's it's cool lyrics, but yeah, it's like yeah. so. You can't attach to it that well. Yeah, yeah. it's also and, really hard to say linoleum. Yeah, <laughs> linoleum, and also like I like it's, for everyone to know what linoleum is. Yeah. yeah, but I think that was written the day before a warped tour prep day. We were in an Airbnb, and I was in a bed. I was writing it in a notepad. Yeah, we, yeah, uh, yeah. So we played three dates, and we had to fly into. It was, it was a California date. Yeah, and we I, stayed at it? we stayed at this house in the middle of nowhere for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that's oh what God, happened. It's so weird. Yeah. Also, it just just reminded me. We speaking of like like announcements and posting things. One of the funniest things we ever, one of the funniest things we ever did that I feel like doesn't get enough credit is we there was one uh, Warp Tour where we only played one date. Oh yeah. And we made, every band that ever goes on Warp Tour makes a huge announcement and then they post all of the tour dates and we're like we're so excited to announce our Warp Tour. Uh, the dates are coming up next. Uh, check to see if yours is on it, and just really fast, yeah. just the Cleveland date. Went <laughs> by. And it was also it was the it was the course of ancient history. Yeah. And went, I know. <laughs> You're like, see you there. Yeah. All right. I, I want to play that song again live. Yeah, I know. Oh uh, my god, the air mattress. Yeah, that was really fun. Mm-hmm. That's a hard. That's another hard thing. If we're, we're staying on the music topic, is just like picking a set list. Yeah, and like. So, uh, what, 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 the next time we go on tour, like, like timing wise, hopefully, you know, things, things will be released and we'll be into the next thing. But then we have to go to Europe yep. and do, uh, the midnight midnight. Yeah. yeah. So we have to do both yep. eras at the same. Yeah. It's going to be so weird. It's going to be interesting. 
We'll figure uh, it out. I want to. Yeah, I want to figure out. There's. There's got to be a way to do like, like. There's such an opportunity to do an amazing tour tea for that reschedule. Yes. Tour. Part of me wants to put the dates on top of each other, like yeah. they're being like <laughs> reprinted <laughs> over, like it's the same shirt. That would be really funny. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. It's crazy. So the you were saying that in November of 2019 was when. Uh, the first song, the first was, song was being for this so next era, was, wasn't yeah. it October 2019 was when this Midnight World Tour UK Europe was supposed to happen the initially? first first yeah the fir- and then it got rescheduled for the surgery yeah you know, for vocal surgery and God. then twice for COVID so like this the album is going to come out and we started writing it after <laughs> this tour was supposed to happen I'm just and like the tour's happening my head after of like how much health scares i've had dude yeah and you've like, been go that's what i'm saying like go go take a vacation dude, yeah like i just need to like relax yeah but i'm just it's i'm just so excited about everything that's happening i know right it's now. gonna be amazing but like like going through it all in my head like all the things that have changed what's to come there's just so little to hold on to right now it's yeah. just all yeah oh my god i'm i'm honestly a little uh i don't know what i expected but i i've i've realized that i've had this like I don't know how to describe it other than anxiety of yeah. uh, everything was on lockdown. And while it was happening and we were, you know, in quarantine, I just kept being like, man, I can't wait for things to open up again. The second things are open up, I can't wait. Yeah. And I, I guess I thought that it was going to happen more gradually. And then one day, at least in Los Angeles, they were just like, it's open, go outside. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's like when you wake up, uh, or like when you come out of a movie theater, yeah. you watch it in the middle of the day and the sun hits you in that exact moment. Yeah. And so I'm trying to like get back into that you know, get, like reacclimate to society, but also because we haven't played shows in so long, I haven't seen our fans in person. Yes. And so I have that same fear that I had before midnight where I was like, when we put this out, are they still going to be yes. there? I, I see them on the internet all the yeah. time. I know it is, but that oh, fear is always there. I, I have, I, I had that same thought you had, mm-hmm. but I, I also then it's followed up with, I, it's undeniable to me. That once this all happens, it's going to be out of control. Oh, yeah. With, no. Like reuniting with them again. Everyone's been so patient. And we, like, not, I'm not trying to sound braggy, but like you look on Spotify and like the, our, our monthly listeners have grown. Yeah, We've yeah. grown since not releasing brand new songs. It makes me so pumped for what's going to happen when we do release mm-hmm. new songs. So it's... There's there's that thought that creeps in, and then you're like, no, look, yeah, like we're 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 fine, and it's it's exciting, it's really exciting. Speaking of releasing stuff, so this is going to be coming out, um, I'm I'm guessing on Tuesday. Oh my god, same day? Is that the same day? I think it's the same day. So, so we should talk about it. We should talk about it. It's I keep saying that we keep being like this is the last the end of midnight, the last yeah. thing we're doing for midnight. I think this might actually be it. This actually is. Yeah. And it's the release of the Happy All the Time Acoustic Music Video. Yeah. Which we put together. And um, you're going to see it today if you're listening right now. And if you're listening later, then you've already seen it, hopefully. And um, the choir meant so much to us in this song. And we, the reason why we delayed it was we wanted to get everything perfect. And we were able to get the choir involved. We were able to get Sky involved, who was a part of the writing process. And it's just... I, I, I watched it and I literally like cried because of how happy it made me. So I, I can't wait for everyone else to watch it. I hope that they can take something away from it and it can really brighten their day. So I'm pumped about that, man. Yeah. I really am. That was another really cool timing thing where releasing this now as we're starting to we're we're past the worst of it. Yeah. Is like feels very, I don't know what the word is. It feels like we don't like to sit still. No, no. <laughs> but the just I love that we're, we're releasing this and we're ending midnight on our terms. Yeah, you know we're not like oh this tour got rescheduled. I guess we're just gonna cancel it and then yeah. that's the end of the album. Like we're, we're we're doing it the right way. We're like giving it. We're giving that song especially 100%. The, uh, the credit that it deserves and the visibility that we feel like it deserves. So I'm excited. Least, yeah, I'm stoked too. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. How have we been going? Should we do an ad? Thirty minutes. What's the ad for? We don't have an ad. All right, promote something. Oh, go. Uh, have you ever thought about eggs? What about eggs, Zach? Why are they so runny? You're right. They are runny. What are you going to present to us that's going to make them less runny? Well, I present... A vacuum. <laughs> a vacuum? Yeah. Suck up the runniness. Are we pitching together? I don't know. I thought we were. No. What do you present? Oh, I'm uh, a stove. And then you <laughs> Cook them. And then you would cook them. Uh... Egg stove. <laughs> Use the promo code FuckSeatGeek yeah. for 20% off today. Yo, honestly, though, fuck Seat Geek, though. 
Dude. I hate them forever. Forever. <laughs> Unless they let us do an ad. In yeah. And then, and then we're like, we're in your good graces again. They got to make it up to you now. No, I mean, it's just like, I, it just sucks because it's like, God forbid, one fucking penny rolls out of their pocket. But like, <laughs> like solve the issue. You know what I mean? Like, like I didn't, I, like I'm being punished for their mistake and it sucks. Yeah. I also am like complaining about it. It makes me feel like such an asshole. It's like, <laughs> Oh, do you get to go see a concert the, of the band you love? It's yeah. the last show ever. Does it suck? Is it not an ideal yeah. seat? Is it not? Pro- what are you, a fucking king? Do you, mean- <laughs> you know what will suck? Yeah. You're gonna walk by your seat, and someone else is gonna be in it. Yeah, I know. And they're not even—they're oh. gonna be on their phone. They're yeah. not even gonna appreciate it. <laughs> it's gonna be like a kid, and he's like, "I hate Ace Freely." For some reason, he's, he's eating. <laughs> He's eating a handful of jelly beans, yeah, just like yeah. the worst show food you could have. Oh my god! Yeah. I hate popular recording <laughs> artist Kiss. Yes. I want to watch Coca Melon. Yeah. He has a megaphone for yeah. some reason, and he's pointing it at you. He yeah. knows he has your seat. Yeah, and it's like, and, and Seeky gave me this seat, and I fucking hate yeah. it. They told me it belonged to this idiot Zach. Yeah. Where are you, Zach? I'm with an like, H. <laughs> are you an orchestra? F- Section eight, yeah. seat twelve, nine. You almost said the real yeah, seat. Peter Chris is like <laughs> Peter Chris is like yeah, he's right there. Yeah, Peter. <laughs> they right stop there. the song. Yeah, he's right there. Look, Look at him. Idiot. Look at him. He's such a bitch. <laughs> Such a dumb idiot. No, but dude, Sea Geek. At the end of it, like I saw, I did like a whole scenario where I was uh, acting like yeah. them, and I was like, uh, I was like, "Hey, look at this awesome seat right in the middle of the venue. Bet you want it." Uh, and I'm like, "Yeah, dude, it's a great seat. Yeah, of course you do. Uh, purchase it. I bet you won't purchase it. Oh, all right, I purchased the ticket. Look at it." And then they're like, uh, "They're like, oh, guess what, buddy? It's not anywhere near where we said it would <laughs> and be. And it's gone. Yeah, they're uh, literally that. Yeah, and they're like, and guess what? And guess what? Uh." You're gonna email. You're gonna try and call us to figure it out. Well, guess what? We have shitty hold music that you're gonna listen to for forty minutes, oh, and dude. then when you get a hold of us, we're gonna hang up on you. Did so? You sent that to Seeky. Seeky. Oh yeah, they you did. know that they were they like gathered people around yeah. and be like, look at this funny email. Yeah, that this I guy think sent. I think they that is like I think the person reading it is like this guy is making a haha. Yeah. And like, I, it sucks because I wish that I could go to the people that are fucking me over. And yeah. I know it's not the person reading my email, sure. which sucks, but I, I, and like, I don't want to be rude to them. So I always start it with like, I'm right. sorry, you know? And, and, but then at the end of it, and I was like, I was like, yeah, this is how Seeky is. Like you're, fu- you're, you're fucking me over purely because you don't want to, uh, re- like, you don't mm. want to resolve the problem. It is it, crazy. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say I had. I, I don't. Did I tell you guys about my nightmare about trying to get this TV? Mm-mm. I got a new TV and I was really excited to get it. It's a nice TV. Yeah. I appreciate it, but I was. <laughs> I've never gone through worst customer service in my entire life. It was um, Costco Logistics, also known as Innovative Solutions. I can't make this clear enough. Yeah. It was the worst experience. So they were like. If you have any questions, call us. So I had my date booked. So for this sort of thing, you had to like be like, schedule a date. So mm-hmm. I scheduled like this day, at this time, I'll be home. And then um, it said it was going to arrive, and then it didn't. And I was like, okay, I'll just call them. Um, the whole music was. I know it by heart now. It was just the most frustrating thing ever. I've never been on hold for so long. I put it on hold and I just multitasked two hours. Wow. Two hours, nobody. Every time I called, never got a hold of a soul. And I'm persistent yeah. as hell. And I'm yeah. like, I'm going to find somebody. That's the same way no. I am, too. I, the only way I was able to email anybody was I found negative reviews on the Better Business Bureau by just mm. Googling the name of their company. And then I finally got them to respond. And they were like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. And I tried contacting the maker of the TV. And they were like, well, we can't do anything. We're not shipping it. They're shipping it. There's, there's so many situations like that that are just oh so infuriating. Just I, I've noticed that if if I ever get to a point where in my head I'm like, no, it's about the principle of the thing. I'm like, I have to step away. Like, yeah. I have now reached a point where I will become obsessed yeah. and I will do whatever I can yeah. to ruin it. And them. all, all yeah. I want is an answer. Yeah. Like, we don't know where yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> and like, for me, it was like, for mine, it was just like, I know that I'm not going to win. So I'm just going to yeah. make this funny. Damn, I hate I hate how customer service is like a thing of the past now. It like doesn't even fucking matter. No, anymore. it doesn't. What's wild is, and I mean, obviously, it doesn't matter to them. But like the, if I have a a good experience, a positive experience with any sort of customer service, or like a a, a company goes above and beyond, yeah. I will go out of my way to tell everyone, yeah, like, you have to use this. It's the Do best. Do you yelp it? No, I, I don't, don't yelp it. No, I, I don't, should yelp it. I don't yelp shit. I feel like yelp is super snitch. Like, yeah. I hate it. No, I mean, like, Yelp for the good review. Yeah. I feel like, I feel bad for companies that 
are always tied to Yelp because yeah. it's so when you're in the moment, you're happy. You no one ever broadcasts yeah. it. Yeah. So when you do see the five stars on like a restaurant or something, you're like, you oh, know, man, it's good. That's gotta yeah. be great. You uh, you had an experience. Uh, there was a food truck. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, what happened? There was somebody uh, left a really fucking funny review for a food truck by by my old house. Yeah. And uh, it was like a it was like a taco truck, and this guy did a whole detailed uh, review about the California burrito, which is like a popular burrito in California. Yeah. And uh, he orders it and he's, and he's talking about how he was, it's a cash only and he had to go to an ATM and he, and he felt like he was back in the speakeasy days <laughs> and he had to put the money in and uh, he left a, a generous tip because he wanted them to really hook up his burrito. Yeah. And then he gets it and he's like, Glor- the glorious burrito, it's finally mine. I haven't had one in years. He goes into his car and he sits down and he's like, I felt the need to buckle my seatbelt. <laughs> To eat it in his car, he felt the need to buckle his seat. Like he's going to explode out of it from how good it is. Dude, it was so goddamn funny. I appreciate great reviews. Like the Haribo gummy bears, just extravaganza. Oh, Oh, they have the worst commercials, though. What's the one? Their commercials? It's that haunting. (laughs) Have you you read the Amazon reviews? Um, That's what I'm talking about. I can pull them up. Please. Do. Any Amazon reviews. Screenshot them. They yeah. are the best. I'm looking them up right now. Worst reviews yes. you've yeah. ever heard of. Apparently, if you have too many of these things, um, here we go. I don't Especially know, the diet size? gummy bears. Yeah. Oh, was it the diet ones specifically? But all there of was them. a whole crazy. Remember diet Pringles? Yeah. Oh, there was like diet, or what they call them diet Pringles or fat free Pringles. Yeah, I people love... like got uncontrollable diarrhea from them. Yes. <laughs> I just, I just love that they're like, I need to start eating healthier. I'm going to do diet Pringles. <laughs> Yeah. I, what's funny is I was of that way of thinking that it's like that's what your choice was. I want a snack. Yep. Yeah. But I want a snack healthy. Let's eat slightly healthier yeah. Pringles. Diet Pringles. Um, here we go. <clears throat> Diet Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of them. This is for uh, the Gold Bears. Okay. The Haribo Gummy all gold? Bears. I, I, it, that's what, it just says flavor name, okay, Gold okay. Bears. I've had a long battle with constipation due to my extremely poor diet of burgers and pizza. <laughs> I bought this bag of gummy bears hoping that it would help me lose a little weight. Little did I know I would piss food out of my ass. <laughs> I dropped from 260 pounds to 215 pounds in just a few months using these little beauties. I don't have a sense of smell, but the birds flying by my window would literally fall down and seize. <laughs> and that's is, five stars. He gave it five dude, stars. There oh. is a crazy list of of that creative of of reviews that's awesome so if if you're at home and you're bored just look them up it's absolutely Mm -hmm. amazing. that reminds me a little bit of uh you know your mom sells podcast with the comedian tom segura oh the comedian tom segura uh for the audience the comedian tom segura i fucking hate you so much (laughs) i guess i'll never say it again i'm not even ripping into you (laughs) that hard no uh, (laughs) i'm not even ripping into you that that hard hard. (laughs) Like an asshole. Uh, uh, I love you. <laughs> but no, so Tom Segura, he, uh, he, he, uh, you know Garth Brooks? Sure. Oh, I, I know where you're going. And Dude, I love he, has so a, much. he has a whole thing where he basically has made his audience uh, uh, take over Garth Brooks' social media. And he, they, he just comments about how, uh, how, Garth Brooks kills people and murders them. <laughs> and then, dude, they'll be like, the it, family needs to know, Garth. Where where are the bodies? Where are the bodies? Because yeah. he does these videos and he's like, man, you know what? I just love good music. Yeah. And he, he just looks, smiles creepily yeah. at the camera. Have they, have they, has he acknowledged? Yeah. So he actually recently blocked um, Tom Segura <laughs> from commenting. <laughs> and like, he, I think he restricted a bunch of the words. But I mean, it's still really fucking it's funny so that people funny. go out of their way. That's and they're like, true. Garth. <laughs> Starting <laughs> such a baseless rumor. Know, like, yeah. there's so no... we need that now. We need people to go to SeatGeek's Instagram and be like, give Zach a seat back. Yeah, no, no, no. And no, no, don't no, actually no. do that. <laughs> <laughs> they will, though. It's too late. You yeah. already said it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's a call to action. I don't need that. <laughs> please, please don't. I am very nervous. I do not want to fight them. No, I, I have. I, if I ever do run into Mr. SeatGeek, though, I will have, give him a piece of my mind. Yeah. Something my dad would say. <laughs> what do you think Mr. SeatGeek looks like? Uh, have you ever meant? I imagined while while I was emailing him, like um, like the most sleazy, uh, <laughs> first like, word, like the most sleazy, like wearing a suit that's like uh really old and yeah, I got and, like a big cigar, yeah, big, su- and he's got he's got like the top button open, it's like a puffy yeah, chest, stack of gold, yeah, and like he, <laughs> in, in a, he, he like does a like stack he does of like it, the, yeah. the, the, the 
uh, push the push back, oh, comb back yeah. hair, but like his hairline is like definitely receding. He almost <laughs> looks like a clown. Um, <laughs> that is See, what I meant. You went real person with this. I went like cartoon, That's what like I it's a, like a full blown blue seat, and it's got glasses on, and it's very pretentious, oh, and it's like, hey, like it pulls down his glasses to look we down at be you. More different. <laughs> Yours is like a ha ha, and mine's like I fucking hate it. <laughs> No, I'm trying to insult him personally, and he doesn't even exist. And he's like, he's listening to this, and he's at home. He goes, "This is exactly what I look like." <laughs> How does he know? Look up the seat. No, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm enough. My I'm anger is up to here. I'm done with Seeky. Oh my god! Someone's someone's gonna leave in the comments now that I'm too passionate mm-hmm. about the hate for Seeky. You know what is crazy though, and I don't know how this happened, but uh, band plays a show. Yeah. They have to play it at a venue. Yeah, and then the venue sells their ticket. Yeah. Through Live Nation or yeah. uh, whatever, Seat Geek, whatever Take that man. thing is. Yeah. There's like 18 things that go through purchasing a ticket. I know. That I never know. Like, I don't yeah. know. That when someone's like, where do you get tickets? I'm like, I have no fucking idea. All. Yeah. <laughs> get yeah. it all. Google it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you go to setitoffband.com and then you oh, find it. Oh, there we go. And then it links. Go to setitoffband.com today to get your tickets. Yeah, and don't deal with SeatGeek. And if SeatGeek is, <laughs> and if we're selling tickets on SeatGeek, let me know so I can get it removed. Because fuck them. Because, so, dude, it does suck. It does suck because somebody might buy a ticket for our show and get fucked over and then we get fucked over. And then, and then I hate SeatGeek double. It's the, are you saying it's the, the principle of the thing? No! <laughs> it is, dude. I'm my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know what your dad says? No, no. Oh. I was just that is something a dad would say. Mm-hmm. The principle of it. Have you have you guys noticed uh you like as you get older you have you picked up any traits that your parents do? Mm. <sighs> Probably. Uh I don't know. I, I'm trying to think like growing up my parents were they worked really hard, so they, you know. Yeah, you're you're great work ethic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, S- sick compliments. No, no, no. I just yeah, meant, like my parents were like super hard workers, so like here I no, am. No, I just meant like they were always <laughs> tired when they came home. So I'm like, do I do anything? Like, I don't know, man. I'm trying yeah. to. No, this is this is honestly a, a tough question. Like, I don't I think, know if I have anything. The classic I, is like, and I think we all we all a, a, every human being is going to do this on Earth. But like, yeah. when you reach a certain age, you just uh, you have to make a noise when you get up or sit down oh, yeah. or sit down. Yeah. yeah. What's yours? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll dude, do, I, um, I know mine immediately. I think it's. Okay. Mine is yours is okay. Yeah. Mine is so nerdy. Oh, oh I know what yours is. What? I, I have two. I, I the, well, what's the, the, which one do you the remember? The one that I love. Yeah. Because we'll be it'll be silent in yeah. the bus, and we'll just be like on our phones, <laughs> and you'll like go up to go get food, and just go, alrighty. <laughs> My other one. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, mine. Yeah. It's not- Okie dokie. Dude, mine That's is. The worst. That is that is like it couldn't be whiter. <laughs> I know. It's, my, it's mayonnaise, dude. Yeah. It's fucking mayonnaise. Mine is like, I'm trying to think. That's Ned Flanders And I shit. don't even mean to do it. It's compulsive. <laughs> oh, my God. I think mine is, oh, I got to get going. Oh, I got to get going. <laughs> I gotta That's get going a classic. Here. I got to get going. Oh, like, get no matter going. what or, I'm or, doing, oh, I got to get going. If, I'm if just going, going, going to brush my teeth. I'll literally go, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. It's like you gotta <laughs> pump yourself up to sit up. <laughs> it's your little pep talk to yourself. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, oh dude, I gotta get going. I wanted to run this by you guys because I'm fully oh prepared God. to fall flat on my face for this. Okay. Yeah. But um, because I w- so one of the producers we've been working with, his name is Bruce. He's amazing, funny guy, mm-hmm. love him to death. And um, we were working on a song, um, which I can say the title, but it doesn't matter. It's called Skeleton. And he was gonna make a um, a joke out of it, and I didn't know he was doing that. And um, he, I want, what I'm going to do right now is I want to I attempt to see if I can get you on board with, with two inside jokes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he tried to do this with a friend of his. Okay. And it did not work. Okay. okay I'm going to be open-minded. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to come into it as if it's organic. Here we go. So the All situation right. was he goes, how much does a dead guy weigh? And I, I, I said, um, enough to break the ice. Name's Colin. Because <laughs> I thought... <laughs> It'd be funny that there was a guy who's so obsessed with just adding dead to certain pickup lines. And that's right. just his thing. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So how, much is a dead, how much does a dead polar bear weigh? <laughs> What's another Why pickup is it line? dead? What's another pickup line? Yeah. The, oh, no. That, oh, the, uh, did it hurt? When, when you, you died? fell from heaven and died. You're an angel. Name's Colin. <laughs> Name's Colin. It's, it's always Colin for some oh, reason. It's God. so quick. You know what they say when you're dead in Rome, man. Yeah, when you're you dead know? in Rome. Just adding it to everything. <laughs> All right. So 
uh, now you can give it a judge's scale. It's okay. I'm ready to get brutal. Uh, I think here. I like it. I think it's like a seven. A I think seven? It's got legs. I yeah. like that. I like that it applies to a lot it's of things. It's very us. Yeah. And I yeah. feel like you guys would have appreciated it. I feel like if it was it. created organically within the group, it would be really, it would be a good, yes. like, super strong one. But you're bringing it to the table in a weird form. Oh, yeah. No, honestly. No. <laughs> That's not at all how we, you would ever do a scenario. The council no, no. of ha-has have decided. <laughs> I, I feel like I was speaking in front of like, is this like America's Got Talent? Yeah, yeah. But wait, I got like a good inside no, I mean, joke. You're going too. to Hollywood. You're pulling you're up your phone. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's Shark Tank except for jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, like, uh, I'll give you a buck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For for fifty percent of the company, <laughs> for fifty percent of the haha, and then <laughs> I, I was doing another one where I was just recording vocals. Okay, and this is on, and I just out of nowhere went, "I'm a fucking spy, dude." <laughs> And then it just became about... That could be a very good TikTok sound. <laughs> yeah. It's about just the guy that he... It's for When I said it, it made me think of um, Adam... De, is it Divine? Or Devine? The guy from... Um, Maroon 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 Five. No, Adam. <laughs> oh, Maroon 5. Maroon 5. No, his name yeah, is... Yeah, you're talking him. about... He's got that show with the two yeah. other guys, and yeah. uh, they make the jokes. Are you fucking with me? Yeah. Maroon 5. Maroon 5, and he's like... And the maps that lead <laughs> no, that to Adam you... Adam Levine. And the maps yeah. that Adam Devine. Yeah, they had that show Devine. on MTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he was played in the, band. the Super Bowl halftime. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> you sounded like him, just to just out yourself. Like, all right, here we go. I'm a fucking spy, He's dude. Doing such that a guy. good job. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, walk yeah. him up. Yeah, he was like, all he had to do was get to the exit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mission completed. He's and dancing to the music. Do, 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 How did you know? Well, first of all, you were playing this music really loudly. <laughs> on, well, we imagined it was on the phone. Yeah. He's holding the phone. Do, 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 do. I'm a fucking spy, yeah. dude. Yeah. Rest that guy. Yeah. That guy, he's a spy. So, so that goes to show you, if you have inside jokes, don't tell your friends. <laughs> we, the council. <laughs> I'm kidding. We, I'm kidding. the council, give that one lesser it's... than the first. <laughs> Open the gates. <laughs> Open let, the gate. Let the alligators eat his body. <laughs> his body. <laughs> oh, man. I like that that's how the guy is judged. He yeah. comes into a coliseum to <laughs> display a couple inside jokes yeah. he has on a notepad on his phone. Yeah. And he goes, I liked the first one more than the second. Release the alligators. <laughs> Have them eat his body. <laughs> From head to toe. And now we're creating an inside joke. Yeah. There we go. Of like an it. inside joke. Jokeception. It's good. I think it's time to wrap it up, y'all. All right, cool. Fuck this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> episode 10, though. We did it. Episode, episode 10, 10. No headphones. Digits. No headphones. No headphones. No headphones. No. We talked like for 45 minutes about music, so yeah. people should really like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all like music, right? Y'all like, yeah. like music? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it's really okay. Right? Yeah. I listen to it yeah. every now and then. Yeah. Honestly, though, that's a real thing. When you like do music all the time. When you yeah. do it, mm-hmm. yeah. when you, when you fucking it. live music, dude, when man. it's like when you just breathe, and it's part of your soul. When you're yeah. like waking up and you think music, you don't want to have music. I hate when people talk like that. Yeah. It's like you're yeah. not that introspective, dude. Yeah, Shut I the know. fuck up. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for listening. <laughs> Seriously, thanks for watching, listening. If you're on YouTube, it's watching as well to talk it off. Oh wait, watch the watch the music video. Music video for happy all the time acoustic. Nice. And thank you everybody for listening. We have been Cody, Max, Zach, and this is the Talk It Wolf Podcast. Woo! You miss it again. I didn't do the podcast. You didn't say it again. This has been the oh my God. Talk what? It Off. What are we going to do with you? <laughs> Broom sweep the garage. Come on. <laughs>